1 Samuel chapter 12. And Shemuel said to all Israel, Look, I have listened to your voice in all that you have said to me, and have set a sovereign over you. And now look, the sovereign is walking before you, and I am old and gray, and look, my sons are with you, and I have walked before you from my youth to this day. Look, here I am, witness against me before Yah, and before his anointed, whose ark have I taken, or whose donkey have I taken, or whom have I oppressed, whom have I abused, or from whose hand have I received any bribe with which to blind my eyes? Then I restore it to you. And they said, You have not oppressed us or abused us, nor have you taken any bribe from anyone's hand. So he said to them, Yah is witness against you, and his anointed is witness today, that you have found naught in my hand. And they answered, He is witness. And Shemuel said to the people, It is Yah who appointed Moshe and Aharon, and who brought your fathers up from the land of Mitzrayim. And now stand still, so that I judge you before Yah concerning all the righteous acts of Yah, which he did to you and your fathers. When Yaakov came to Mitzrayim, and your fathers cried out to Yah, then Yah sent Moshe and Aharon, who brought your fathers out of Mitzrayim, and made them dwell in this place. But they forgot Yah, their power, so he sold them into the hand of Sisera, commander of the army of Hatsor, and into the hand of the Philistines, and into the hand of the sovereign of Moab, and they fought against them. And they cried out to Yah and said, We have sinned, because we have forsaken Yah, and served the Baals and Ashtaroth. And now deliver us from the hand of our enemies, and we serve you. And Yah sent Yerubbaal and Bedin, and Yiftah, and Shemuel, and deliver you out of the hand of your enemies round about, and you dwelt in safety. And when you saw that Nahash, sovereign of the children of Ammon, came against you, you said to me, No, but let a sovereign reign over us, when Yah, your power, was your sovereign. And now here is the sovereign whom you have chosen, and whom you have asked, and see, Yah has set a sovereign over you. If you fear Yah, you shall serve him and obey his voice and not rebel against the command of Yah. Then both you and the sovereign who reigns over you shall follow Yah, your power. But if you do not obey the voice of Yah and shall rebel against the mouth of Yah, then the hand of Yah shall be against you as it was against your fathers. And now stand and see this great matter which Yah does before your eyes. Is today not the wheat harvest? Let me call to Yah so that he sends thunder and rain. Now then, see that your evil is great, which you have done in the eyes of Yah, in asking for yourselves of sovereign. And Shemuel called to Yah, and Yah sent thunder and rain that day. And all the people greatly feared Yah and Shemuel. And all the people said to Shemuel, Pray for your servants to Yah your power, that we do not die, for we have added to all our sins this evil of asking for ourselves a sovereign. And Shemuel said to the people, Do not fear, you have done all this evil. Only do not turn aside from following Yah, and you shall serve Yah with all your heart. And do not turn aside after worthless matters, which do not profit or deliver, for they are worthless. For Yah will not cast away his people for his great name's sake, seeing it has pleased Yah to make you his people. Also as for me, far be it from me that I shall sin against Yah and cease to pray for you, but I shall teach you the good and straight way. Only fear Yah, and you shall serve him in truth with all your heart, for consider what marvels he has done for you. But if you persist in doing evil, both you and your sovereign are consumed.